children are like wet cement. Whatever falls on them makes an impression. Hence, why every parent tries to instill the right values in their children. But for this woman, those values were being questioned. She found her daughter's backpack stuffed with loads of cash and began to worry about what a child might have done or didn't do. How did the little girl get her hands on so much cash? You have to stay here to find out. Julie's daughter Addison was born with a rare genetic disorder called Larson syndrome, a condition that affects 1 in 1,000 people. This syndrome causes visible deformities that would greatly affect their mobility and growth. Addison's knees were faced backwards while her legs were up to her head. Ever since she was born, Addison had been a patient at Texas Scottish Rite Hospital for Children, a hospital that was funded by donations. The hospital was a blessing in disguise to Addie and her parents. According to them, Addie had been to the hospital more times than they could count, either for surgery or individual therapy. And because of the hospital's generosity, her parents could afford her treatment. By the time she was just seven years old, Addison had undergone a staggering 65 operations. And although her legs still looked a bit bent, Addison wasn't bothered. She was just happy to finally be able to live her life like every other kid. She now attended school and had friends to play with. During this particular summer, Addison's mom noticed that her backpack just kept getting bigger. Her bag seams were almost broken off because of the extra weight she was carrying. One night, Julie finally went through the backpack and what she saw was unbelievable. She found piles of cash in Addison's bag that left her very worried. How did a seven-year-old get her hands on so much money? What did she do to get it? Julie couldn't wait to get the answers to her questions. And when she asked Addison about the money the morning after, she got an even bigger surprise. When Addie told her mom how she came into possession of such a huge amount, she had her mother speechless. She said, I just hold a sign that says, for my birthday wish, I want to raise $8,000 for Texas Scottish Rite Hospital. Isn't that awesome? Rather than anything anyone could have imagined, Addison was doing the most selfless thing. Julie was so proud of her daughter that she joined Addison's campaign by standing with her daughter at a busy intersection in their neighborhood. Addison's story went viral and she was able to raise 10 times more than a target of $8,000. She even got an anonymous donation of $50,000 to help kids who struggled with the same condition she does. Her compassion touched a lot of people and continued to draw in more donations for the place Addison calls her second home. When asked what she would want to do with the money, she said, I want to give the money to the hospital for new prosthetics for other children like me. Just one random act of kindness at a time can change the world and this girl's story is proof of that. When Haley was just five years old, she saw a homeless man on the street and seeing him in that condition broke her heart. So much so that she asked her parents how she could help him. This homeless man is Edward, who had lost his job at a local grocery store, so he had no money to feed himself. Haley and her mom Miranda bought Edward a sandwich, but the little girl didn't want to stop there. She wanted to figure out a way to ensure that people like Edward have a roof over their heads and also food to eat. It just doesn't seem right that there are homeless people. I think everyone should have a place to live, she said. She became good friends with Edward, whom she says is really nice and easy to talk with. I don't really want him to be rained on by all the bad weather we get here, Haley said. So what did the thoughtful girl do? She decided to take immediate action. Haley started a garden to grow and donate fruits and vegetables to homeless people. And she also started building shelters. Isn't that amazing? Haley builds the home herself under the supervision of her mom, and sometimes her grandfather, who is a contractor, helps out too. And apart from the homes and the gardens she started for the homeless people, Haley plans to do even more. She wants to hand out 1,000 toiletries, 100 coats, 500 feminine hygiene products, and also build as many sleeping shelters and grow as much food as she can. Haley also wants to donate 10 PO boxes that will be paid for one year. She believes this will help homeless people to send their mails while they are applying for jobs and getting back on their feet. Haley's compassion has also inspired a lot of people and she has raised over $3,000 to help her achieve her goals. While Haley continues to inspire everyone around her, here is a story of a girl who chose to do something selfless rather than celebrate herself. When Jada became eight years old, rather than have the normal birthday party with gifts and all the other good stuff, she and her mom Tara 
celebrated her birthday differently. It was the festive season and winter was approaching. So Jada, her mom, and seven of her friends did the most considerate thing. Tara put up a post on Facebook appealing to her friends and family to donate their old scarves and coats. She said the bags just started flowing in. She was able to get many of her friends to donate their scarves and coats. Tara and the seven kids got on the streets of Halifax, Nova Scotia and did something that has perhaps never been done before. They tied all the winter coats and scarves that they had collected to street poles all over their city. Why, you might ask? The do-gooders did not want anyone to feel cold during winter and were doing their best to ensure that didn't happen. On the jackets and coats they tied to the poles, they left a message that read, I am not lost. If you are stuck out in the cold, please take me to keep warm. Cue the awes for all eight of them. They spent over an hour distributing clothes, and by the time they were done, the children surely had a newfound appreciation for their jackets. Tara said, When we got back in the car after an hour on the street, they were all freezing and crying for the heater to be on, and complaining because they were cold and they were bundled up. Tara was proud to have taught her daughter such an important lesson. She said, They definitely learned the importance of it. My next story will prove to you that no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Sean is a homeless man who was rummaging around through a dumpster behind a coffee shop searching for food. However, what he found instead was a wallet that belonged to an 8-year-old woman. He was indeed tempted to use her credit card to at least get himself food, but he eventually decided to call her and return the wallet instead. Anybody in the position of being homeless and cold and tired and hungry, if they found a credit card, they're going to think about it. But whether you're going to act on it is two different things. I would rather be cold and hungry and know that I did the right thing. The 8-year-old woman, Eve, was so excited about what Sean did. She said, In this little wallet was everything. Every credit, debit, Medicare card. Everything I own. I was distraught. Eve told her family about Sean's kindness. Eve's granddaughter Michaela then did something for him in return. Michaela had been planning to raise money for a charity at her upcoming drive-by birthday party. But instead, the 12-year-old girl gave whatever funds she raised from her party to Sean. Isn't that awesome? Michaela was able to raise $475 for the drifter. The family also found out that Sean had been homeless for nearly five years and that he had been living in his Chevy Tahoe car. Sean's random act of kindness changed his life forever. He and the family became very close friends. Michaela shared his story online and it resonated with so many people that they were able to raise over $30,000. And with the additional money they raised, Michaela and her mom Vanessa hoped to partner with Sean. Using his design and construction experience, they want to create a sustainable row of tiny homes for the homeless community. Sometimes all it takes to make someone's day better is just a kind little gesture and this young girl understood that better than anyone. Janya and her mom Kenyatta had just finished shopping at a beauty supply store in Norfolk and were headed home. While everyone else who saw this homeless man just walked past him, Janya saw him crying and the six-year-old girl couldn't do the same. Instead, she asked her mom why the man was crying and her mom said he was probably just sad, but Janya said that he was maybe hot and thirsty. However, she didn't stop there. Janya moved closer to the man and spoke to him. Hi, sir. Be happy. It's a nice day. It's not raining. Are you hot? Why don't you go home? The ground is dirty, she said. The homeless man told Janya that he had no home. Janya replied with the saddest look on her face. She said, So that means you're homeless? So you have no food because you have no refrigerator? Janya gave him her drink, dipped into her purse, and took some dollars from her allowance and said, Please go eat. It would make me happy. I like McDonald's. You should go there. Remarkable, isn't it? The homeless man eventually explained to her that he became homeless after losing his wife and every other thing he had in a trailer fire. Janya's actions also attracted other people who gave the man more money. Kenyatta took a picture of Janya and the homeless man, which he shared on social media. Kenyatta and her daughter also went the extra mile to set up a GoFundMe page for him, which has raised over $2,000. Remember, there's no such thing as a small act of kindness, and wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for kindness. Which of these children's stories did you find most inspiring? 
Do you have any similar stories of children performing random acts of kindness? Share with us in the comments.